Hello everyone and welcome to another video! Today I wanted to talk about when do quail chicks no longer need a heat source. So here is my current batch of chicks. As you can see they're not little babies anymore, in fact they're about two and a half weeks old now. When they first hatch, as I'm sure you know, they needed a heat source because little chicks can't maintain heat inside their own body, and so they need an external source. In the wild, they would go to the hen and snuggle in her feathers, and in a setup like this, we've got an electric hen to do the same job. So you can see that at two and a half weeks, they already have about half of their first set of feathers, and the only part of them that still has the chick fluff is their head and a line that goes down the front of their chest. These feathers aren't their adult plumage, they will lose these feathers and grow a new set over the next couple of weeks before they reach sexual maturity, but for now they're functioning perfectly well as good insulation for the chicks. And at this stage, they actually already don't really need a heat supply, as long as they're being kept at room temperature, so about 20 degrees Celsius and above. As shown by this little chap. He is in isolation at the moment because he's developed a bit of a taste for feathers and he's got no heat source in there with him at all. So even at just two and a half weeks of age and by himself, those baby feathers are already doing such a good job of keeping his body heat in and the cold out that he already doesn't need that external source. Now I wouldn't put him outside, those baby feathers aren't going to give him any protection from the wind or the rain, he needs a full set of feathers before he can go below room temperature. But at this stage, the chicks are already able to keep themselves heated so long as their temperature doesn't fluctuate too much, such as when they're being kept indoors. These are his siblings, and they still go under the brooder, which they've still got in their cage with them, but it's as much his habit as anything else. They don't actually stand under there with their backs pressed up against the plate anymore. In fact, at night, they tend to sleep alongside the brooder rather than under it, simply because it gets too warm for them under there now and so I can now actually switch it off. I keep the brooder in there because they like it, as I say, they like going underneath it, but it doesn't need to be switched on anymore, so long as that temperature isn't going to suddenly drop. And in the middle of summer in the UK, that's pretty unlikely as long as I keep the windows shut at night. Obviously, if you're living somewhere with a cooler climate, or if you're raising chicks in the autumn or in the spring, or any time when you're likely to have wide temperature variation, then you need to be a little bit more cautious about taking the heat from them. When raising chicks any time other than the middle of summer, I will leave the brooder with them until they're about three and a half weeks old, just because you don't know if the temperature's suddenly going to plummet overnight. And by then, they should have most of their feathers, and certainly most of their head feathers, that's usually the best one to go by. In all cases though, you should obviously keep an eye on the chicks to make sure they're looking comfortable, they're not huddling with each other for more heat, but as long as they're happy, you don't have to keep the brooder on until they reach adulthood. If anything, that's a bit of a waste of electricity, and it's probably going to overheat them, which can cause them stress, which funnily enough can cause feather pecking, which is this little guy's problem. But I hope you've enjoyed this little video about when you can take the brooder away from your quail chicks. I'll leave you to get on with the rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye! Thank you.